Weather Authority forecast. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some nice clear conditions outside for this evening. Very clear skies remain overhead, but now that the sun is set, our temperatures are beginning to cool down. It's just taking a while. We're still in the 90s out there. Again, even with those clear conditions. Thanks to Roofs by Nicholas, though. Very good look outside at that sky. But switching over here to our satellite and radar, you can see that there is plenty of clear sky overhead throughout the Lone Star State, especially through central and southern Texas. But here in the basin, that does spill over, but it's kind of bookended by some of this rain that we've got going on in southeast New Mexico, as well as in the panhandle of Texas. Now, all that rain is beginning to fizzle out, beginning to die down in southeast New Mexico, but it's already done so in parts of the higher elevations, the Marfa Plateau, looking a lot clearer than we were earlier this afternoon. Now, those clouds are even beginning to peel back off to the west. Now, we're not, really, not seeing any weather alerts anymore, but off to the north, we do have a flash flood warning here just on the border of Eddy County. County that's set to expire here in just a couple of minutes. That's thanks to all this rain that we've picked up earlier in the evening. That rain is again finally beginning to fizzle down. You can see the lack of lightning strikes here as those storms die down from thunderstorms. Just strong rain showers. Now as we do continue into the rest of the weekend, we've got a new update to our drought monitor. I expect that we could pick up some more rain at the higher elevations, but look at this extreme drought in bright red. A nice improvement over the exceptional drought in deep red that we have been seeing. We've got a little island right here are now disconnected from the other patch that we see around the Van Horn Mountains. So great news there. That rain looks like it has gone a long way to curing that drought. As we get to tomorrow, temperatures will be backing down into the mid-70s once again and warming up into the triple digits. And we may actually pick up a little rain as well. Once we get to about 12 noon, we're clear in the southeast New Mexico region where we're seeing that rain now. But we may pick up a couple of isolated showers at the higher elevations early in the afternoon. And then we'll start to see that rain picking up through southeast New Mexico in the northern basin, which could still be going well after sunset. Now switching over here to our seven day forecast, temperatures remain in the triple digits Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and even into the start of next week. 100 degrees will be our high tomorrow at 102 on Saturday under some mostly sunny skies. So Carson, Madeline, really important to drink a lot of water. Stay in the shade as much as you can. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's going to be a while before we finally pick up those rain chances on Wednesday of next week. Well, we chase you always have the good advice. Uh, Gatorade, the electrolytes, you don't want to uh, drink all that. You want right. to mix it, right? Yeah, you don't want to overdo it. Yeah, sports drinks sound great, but the sugars in there can dehydrate you a little more quickly. And uh, electrolytes are just salt, so they're great to replenish when you're sweating a lot, but it's not going to go a long way to rehydrating you. you got to space it out with water. Mm -hmm. Water's the way to go. Finish mm -hmm. my gallon today. There you so go. Good on you. Good for you. Chase, I'm taking your advice. That's it. She's That's had it. a lot a of bathroom break. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh,